So happy New Year's. New Year's Eve is coming up this weekend. I am just out on a hike with my dogs. I'm going to let you see what I'm seeing. There's Lacey and there's Rocky. And this is the beautiful, beautiful view and why this is my favorite thing in the world to do. My favorite place in the world to be. It's just amazing. This is just, it took me 29 minutes to hike here. It's just over three quarters to get here, so it's not far. And even knowing this, even knowing that this restores my soul, that it's my very most favorite thing in the whole entire world to do, it's still been weeks since I've been out here. And, and that reminded me that we're all making New Year's resolutions right now. And, and a lot of us right now are looking back at the year and going, oh my, my New Year's resolutions are just exactly the same as they were last year. And sadly, 95% of us will get to this day next year and will have failed at all of these giant goals that we set for ourselves at the beginning of the year. And yet there's a number of reasons for that change. Change is hard. Our old patterns and paradigms really want us, want us to stay where we are, want us to you know, keep the status quo. And another is that we really overextend. We put everything on our plate for the new year. We say, this is the year that I'm finally going to lose that 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to get out of debt. I'm going to, um, all, all these big, big things. And 80% by, um, Super Bowl in February will have already gone, let all of those resolutions go by the wayside. And again, by the end of the year, 95% of us will have failed. So I no longer make New Year's resolutions. And I, I know I was one of these. I keep journals and I've looked back at them and seen, you know, the same desires year after year after year that we're not getting fulfilled and the goals that we're not getting achieved. So I made a decision a few years ago when I got really deep into this teaching and, and starting to teach this myself that, you know, I make daily resolutions and I make minute by minute resolutions. And, and when there's something that I see that makes me want to be a better person than I am, I write it on a pretty sticky note and I tape it up somewhere in my house to remind me so that, you know, I'm always, always trying to be a better version of myself each and every day. And so it's a shame to waste this time of renewal without, you know, making any kind of big kinds of commitments and, and it's a really good time to refresh, but maybe instead of putting everything on your plate and failing at everything, choose one thing, choose one thing that you can really, really fall in love with and, and get behind and put your whole heart and soul into, and that you love so much that you will do whatever it takes to get it done. Because face it, without that real love and that real desire, sometimes that hard change just goes by the wayside. And then secondly, get some help. You know, call me up. Send me a, a, a personal message. Send me an email. Let me give you a free strategy session and give you some tips and and things to get you started on making 2017 the best year of your life. So I will be going home when I finish with my hike and making myself a note that says, remember to remember how much being in the woods restores your soul. Remember to go. I love you all. Happy New Year.